Hi guys, this is Raisa and I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about another internship opportunity. This internship is provided by KAUST. AUST stands for King Abdullah University of Science and Technology and it is based off in Saudi Arabia. I suggest that we head over to the website. Now this is the main website for the VSRP program provided by KAUST. This is a research internship opportunity and the program that they are offering are an STEM program accepts about 130 research interns every year. And there are interns from more than 130 countries and more than 200 projects are listed on their website. And the duration of the internship is about three to six months. Like it can be decided upon by with your professor. And to be eligible for this internship, you should have a GPA of 3.5 out of four. Now you can explore more by yourself on this homepage. Uh, let's moving on to the about section of the VSRP page. And if you click on this one, you will be headed to this page. You get to um, work under the professors, which are at the KAUST University. So it's a great opportunity to work under them because they do cutting edge research in their field and they're great in what they're doing. Keeping in mind the benefits that in this internship opportunity you know, gives to you is a monthly stipend of a thousand US dollars and you get accommodation and visa and airfare and you also get health insurance and you'll also be eligible for social and cultural activities that are conducted within the university and outside the university so it's a great way to get to understand the, the culture of that country and uh, meet other people. Now, the most important part is the eligibility. Undergraduate students who are in their third year or above can apply for this internship opportunity and master students are also eligible. Uh, a GPA of 3.5 is a must out of four and you should have strong English skills. So like it might depend on different countries. So if the mode of um, communication in your university was in English, you, you needn't have to give your TOEFL or you know IELTS examination. So it depends on that. So you need to check that. And the application is accepted all around the year. And the duration of this internship is going to be about three to six months, depending upon the project that you want to apply to and the professor that you will be working with. So you need to discuss this with the professor that you will be applying to. We need to keep in mind requirements uh, for this internship. So you would need an official transcript from your current and previous institutions. You can ask your college to give that to you and a letter of recommendation a valid passport, a statement of purpose, and a curriculum vitae, which is also called a resume. And I'll talk um, more about these things like later in the video. And you can see the selection process has also been mentioned for your perusal here. That like once all the requirements, like all once you have submitted all the documents, if a faculty member that you apply to uh, like deems your application suitable, then they'll call you for a Zoom interview. After that, uh, when your background check is done, uh, you will also get an interview call from the Office of Admissions. And then they'll ask you about like, if you have any questions about life at KAUST and like get to know more about you. If you're approved, then you, then you move on to the next step of, you know, uh, you know booking, booking a flight and getting your visa done and all that. So like, and then again, you will be connected to a travel advisor who will help you out through the whole journey of visa application and you know, help you to re relocate from your home country to Saudi Arabia, right to the university campus, which is in Tuval. And you can search that on the net as well. They have a beautiful campus and the uh, research done there is really amazing. You can check the whole website and you'll get a lot of knowledge on that. Moving on, moving on to the top, if you click on internship, you'll see four other things which are listed in the subsection. If you click on the introduction, you will be headed to this particular page. Now, important things to read on this page is that the application deadlines are like generally six to eight weeks before departure dates. You can directly contact the professor like if in the project you want to apply to and get to more, know more about that before you schedule an interview with the professor. Right. And this is also this has already been mentioned by me before. You can see in the previous pages, which I showed to you on their website, applications are accepted year round. So that's a great plus. You can decide when you want to intern 
and like what time you should uh, start, you know, gathering all the documents which you need for the internship. And this is the eligibility I've already mentioned to it to you before and the application requirements I have mentioned right here. So the LOR you should get from the faculty member. Like uh, example, uh, if you want to apply to the electrical engineering department, right? And you also have a background in electrical engineering, of course. So you need to get an LOR from the um, university faculty member from that particular department only. Only that would be accepted. And you, you should have a valid passport. You need to check the val validity. It should be at least six months. And you should have your CV with you. And the statement of purpose is a kind of document which will help the people interviewing you to understand your motivation and your decision to become a VSRP intern. So that's very important in determining your selection. Going to the top. Again, if we click on internship, you will see the projects here, right? If you click on this one, you will be directed to this particular page. Okay, so on this particular page, you can see that they have shown that there's a complete brochure for the VSRP program. So you can download this brochure. It has the A to Z of all things about KUST VSRP program. So you can download this. If you want to apply this to this opportunity, firstly, you should, you should check, right, if there is any project which you want to apply to. So they have a lot of projects listed out there. Like there are a couple of new research projects that have been added in the list. And I'm pretty sure they keep on adding, like keep on updating this li list all year round. So if you scroll down, you can see there are about 144 projects as of now. You can segregate the projects listed over here according to divisions or program or faculty name. So you can see the divisions right here. And the programs are also mentioned over here. So let's take an example. If we go to electrical engineering as the program and we scroll down and see which product you want to apply to, I see that I want to apply to fully 3D printed flexible ECG patch with dry electrodes, right? So I click on this one and then I'll be directed to its page. I'll see the project title and the apply icon. The whole project description is listed out here. And the professor under which you will be conducting this particular project and the background of this particular professor is also listed over here. The program division, the faculty lab link, you can check this out and the field of study and the desired project deliverables are also mentioned over here. So if you want to start your application, then you can click on the apply button directly from here. And then you will be moved on to all the next steps about applying to this internship, all the documents and how to submit all that. So you need to click right over here. Moving on, if you want to know the, you know, get to know more about this in internship, you might have some questions while you're filling the application. You should go to the FAQ, that is the frequently asked questions page and see if they, they can answer some of your questions like, if you go to this page, you will have your answers questioned on like how many projects you can apply to. And from what I've read from this particular site that you can only apply to one project in a year. And the timeline from when you apply to the project and when you will get the results and how you will be notified about the projects, uh, like if you whether you have been selected or not, and how is life at KAUST. And like, would there be any medical facilities on the campus? And where would you live, the housing? And when should you start applying for your visa? And they also provide a packing list. So you can check that out as well. That will be, that'll be really helpful for you. And with that, I complete my, uh, you know, my description of for this particular internship. So I feel that this is a great opportunity and you should definitely exploit all the options that you have because like you should apply to different opportunities out there so that you don't don't limit yourself to ju just one particular opportunity and you have a lot of options and i feel that it's a really cool opportunity you get to know the culture of a different country you meet new people and the you know uh, the research that is conducted worldwide along with all the people that you are going to work with and get to know a lot of things 
if you like this internship opportunity, I, I believe that you should definitely check it out. If you have any questions while you are applying for this opportunity, you should comment down all your doubts below and I'll be happy to answer to them. And you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Until then, see you in the next video. Bye.